2004, an upstart mid-major team from the Intermountain West overcame the bias system of the BCS and changed the landscape of college football. When Urban first came in, he, he was kind of Im implemented a mantra that was, why not us? Why can't the University of Utah be number one in the nation? Why can't they be number two in the nation? Absolutely, he had the biggest goals possible. You know, he has this thing called a plan to win. He didn't believe in luck. What people don't realize at Utah is it's arguably the, the most unique melting pot in all of college football. It was such a special group and a special time that, that you had such, you had a group of guys that, that put the team before themselves. It was a most, almost like a professional type attitude that we brought uh, to the table, but we also kept the fun in it. You know, being in the locker room and talking with those guys, and it just was something special. You know, it's a life-changing type of experience. Well, we started actually in the off-season. Uh, our off-season program was called Run for the BCS. And there was so much power that came from what we did in the off-season. I've played many years of football, and that off-season was hands down the best. We thought we had a chance to be good. How good? You know, you never know for sure. One day I was watching TV, and he says, Utah doesn't belong with the big boys. They're not a BCS conference school. We took that anger, we took that disrespect, and transferred into our play on the field. Every chance we had to play a, a BCS school, I think we took it out on them, and I think you can kind of see the results of that that whole year. You know, we believed that we were the best team in America. We believed that we could play with anybody. Every once in a great while, you know, you're gonna get a team that on any given day can compete with anybody. Nobody was getting in our way at that point. That's as good a team as I've ever been around. 